who would guess that a fantastic roadside attraction used to sit right over there across the street here in the Valley of Los Angeles, Southern California. Welcome everyone, Adam. The woo here directly behind me is an extension of the Burbank Airport, but back in 1941 when John Ean took over the premises and built his lodge, he was known as the Old Trapper. His friends called him OT for short, and he had a fantastic plethora and array of figures that he placed outside of the establishment where people lived and stayed right here on the corner of this busy thoroughfare. San Fernando and Arvila Avenue. Quite a bit of barbed wire is now in place where the old Trapper Lodge used to sit. Doing a little scouring online, found a website by Wes Clark who had an overview of the general premises. You can see just how expansive it really was down here towards this direction is the roadway. So basically what you're looking at there. Some planes taking off. The photograph I showed, those statues and sculptures are listed there, but it went way back. 150 accommodations for those who felt like staying on site. After OT passed away in 1981 and his wife, about a year or so after, they did not know what they were going to do with all the artifacts. But luckily they were moved a little bit of a ways from here, about a 30 minute drive, give or take. The train coming by. Oh my gosh! Startled me. That was a lot louder and closer to my ear proximity than originally expected. I'm going to take you over to where they now reside. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? By the way, here's a photograph of John, the old trapper. And by lining up that guide map, it means those figures and himself would have been standing right here. And he always dressed the part. Quite fashionable. I'm certain you've heard of Route 66. Don't be confused. This was on Route 99. Circa 1926 to 1963. This paperwork was published publicly, trying to rile up interest on where they could be, they could find a new home. This gives the specifics of not only the lodge, but also Boot Hill, some of the artifacts, some of the tinier items are now in inside museums in Northern California, but not the sculptures. They're still in SoCal. Because of the inheritance taxes and the expansion of the airport, the family of John is forced to divest themselves of the 2.6 acres of land, which includes the California State Landmark. 932, the lodge. Shows it here where that star is and the arrow going upward. We continue on, however, about 24, 25 mile commute westward. And here we go. Made it to Pierce College. It's kind of tucked away around the back of the premises. It's best if you want to visit to show up during daylight hours. These gates are most likely closed and locked in the evening. You can see the padlock there. It's also extremely windy. Look at all these tumbleweeds that have just piled up against the fence. Very, very windy today. Got all the horses out enjoying the day. Do not put fingers in the stall or feed them. They could have an allergic reaction. They're on a strict diet. I'm more worried about the finger thing. Looks like you're enjoying the meal. Oh, don't let me disturb you. I know it's kind of awkward when someone's pointing a camera at you while you're eating. Okay, there you go. 
Is it good? Alvin, Cleel Al Alvin Cleveland Park, <laughs> dedicated January 1969. I'm having trouble speaking at the moment. Well, this is where this is where all the statues are now located. Just like they pictured it. The sheer size of these is what is very impressive. You would think it's just like a normal size. No, that guy's eight feet tall, at least. At I'm least. I'm a large man. I'm a large man. Look, I'm just minuscule. Now I've heard if you look up in here, the unusual thing about this, some say real teeth were used. If you look in there, would you say those are real teeth? Um, if real teeth are made of cement, I think. Are they? I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, they're, they're very well well done. <laughs> You're ruining the urban oh, legend. It's so realistic. With though. truth. It kind of scares you when you come upon a statue that looks that real, that lifelike. It's a little off-putting. I accidentally asked this man for directions earlier before you got here. What was his response? That, that, that look with yeah, the real teeth? Exactly. He just gave you that real he teeth. He gave you that one eye, little light blue eye thing. He's got his holster down here with his gun. He's left-handed. Do you know why these were made? Yes. Have you ever heard of Claude Bell? Claude Bell? Yes, the Cab famous for Cabba's own dinosaurs, famous for oh, Knott's sure. Berry Farm. Desert, sure. So he hired, John Ean hired Claude Bell to produce statues similar to this, and after he saw him work, he said, I could do that myself to promote my lodge. Turns out, by the evidence here, he was wrong. It's kind of hidden in the shadows here and the foliage. Wipe it off. Like Indiana Jones. Number 939, it is a national, well not national, yeah it is, no, California landmark, so not national, just statewide. Here's another photograph of the man himself, John here, almost disguised as the sculptures, but that is, that is him there on the left, and these are the sculptures that used to be at the other spot, now here at Pierce College modeled after his friends and family members. Thank you for holding that. The, the gusts are very prominent. So right there, that's what it looks like modern day compared to the photograph. Pretty cool. There's a shovel, a pickaxe. The weapon of choice is a Colt. Colt 45? Would that, would that no, what that is? No, it's a Derringer. It's very small in a vest pocket. Colt Derringer? A little, little tiny gun. Maybe okay. One, maybe two shots. I don't know a lot about weapons, but I know Colt. I don't either. When I think of Colt, I think of 45. I know nothing about Wait, Colt 45 is a beer. for these. <laughs> now see, this is very reminiscent of what you see when you go through Ghost Town at Knott's Berry Farm, created by Claude Bell. This is OT's version, the old Trappers. Very, very similar, where you sit in between the two, the two statues and get a photo op. You don't even have to listen too closely, you just can hear the wind rustling through the trees. Even has the family's name, Mrs. and Mr. there, inscribed at the base of this one. Iron Foot Eva passed away on her wedding day by unknown and part of the Gundy shop. Some of these relics. Very interesting. Moonflower, exotic Frisco beauty, danced her way to Boot Hill. 
This gentleman has very, very large feet. Here's a sign from the old location. And this is Boot Hill, recreated at many attractions. Could be, if not the most popular, one of the most common graveyards that you will find when it comes to theming with clever little headstones. This is just swinging there in the breeze. It's attached to that limb right up top. Peg Leg Smith. Oh, it's a fight. There's a battle ensuing. Some of these by today's social standards probably would not fly. But it is history, nonetheless. Looking down Boot Hill from the top of the hill. Big Nose Nell. According to the heavy rumor, which a lot say is true, but never been fully documented, Claude Bell would have created possibly this one, which was a likeness of OT. Right up there, holding his weapon. This tree has been uprooted and fallen. Serious business taking place up there. Look at their faces. Look at the detail on those faces lurking in the shadows. I had to kind of cut this visit short. Some workers showed up. They are, they're gonna be redoing the, the pavement and the sidewalks to make it more accessible for future visitors. Made it a few miles away over to Brent's Delicatessen and Restaurant. Man, the smell, this wafting out of there is rather appealing. You already grabbed us a table? I got us a table, yeah. Is this okay? This is good. You got the pickle started already. I've eaten half of a pickle. There, watch. Three fourths. And quite a bit of like Hollywood history here on the walls. Even though it's kind of North Hollywood history. Still Hollywood. Is that considered Hollywood? The uh, valley? This is actually Northridge. Northridge. Northridge, which is actually north of well, it's the San Fernando Valley is a big thing. Los Angeles is bisected by hills right across the middle. And on this side, let me try to do it the right way. We have like okay. Hollywood, West Hollywood, Beverly Hills, West LA, Santa Monica, Splash. Splash? That's the ocean. Okay, Over okay, there. gotcha. Over this side of the hill, we have Studio City, Sherman Oaks, Encino, Woodland Hills, Calabasas, Splash, but above here, these are mountains up here too. So in the North Valley, we have sort of Porter Ranch and Coima and Sun Valley and, and up here, Northridge, the home of Cal State University Northridge, the Matadors. <laughs> Thank you. So this is what they're known for. Okay, you're doing the spin. This is... Do you not need the music? Oh, that might not be. That might. That, that's Star Trek you were oh, doing. Oh, was I sorry? I think you're doing Star Trek. Do another one. Open it up. Did you just make that up? Yeah. Okay, that's good. This, they, no, said, hey. <laughs> they said they were known for this. This is the Reuben. What type of Reuben is this? Pastrami. And it looks like there's some sauerkraut on there. And you went with. You went with this. Turkey Club Wrap. Turkey Club Wrap. Good. Okay, let's dive in. There's Judge Judy. 
Andre Agassi and Chuck Norris. Judge Judy ate here and Chuck Norris. Oh, and I once saw them in the most unbelievable fist fight. <laughs> Chuck Norris is doing his back fist. Judge Judy, I don't know, she like jumps in the air and there was actually a sound like wink, kick, 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 and she spun kick Chuck Norris right That's, in a, that's an amazing story. They sell these bagel chips as well. You can take these home. Bagel chips. They are very helpful here. The lady on the golf cart showed me the way to the mausoleum. So this is... Uh... This is Johnine. Mm -hmm. And then his wife was a year later. She died, I believe it was on their anniversary. Separated. So Mary Space 13. So this is called Mausoleum of Devotion. She's Space 13 and John is Space uh, Crypt 14. Okay. I would have never found this on my own. There wasn't a lot of information online about it. That's going to do it for today. If you're new here, please subscribe. By doing so, it helps keep you in the loop and up to date on future uploads here on this channel. Take a step further, ring that notification bell. And if you enjoyed this particular episode, give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know you care. See you in the next video of the vlog. It's over.